It's a race against time, literally and figuratively, as Barbie's best friends, Georgette and Candy, head to her ex Kenzo's racetrack to burn some rubber and get some answers. It's time for dolls, drama, and death in episode two of our parody TTRPG series, Barbie Didn't Do It! We return now to our pastel pink colored world where Barbie reigns supreme, because we are in the Barbie-verse, where dolls are real and they can commit murder. And that's exactly what happened after Barbie was forced on the lamb when her new boyfriend, Kenneth, was killed in cold blood. Barbie was accused of it. She had the murder weapon in her hand. She didn't know what happened. And you two, Georgette and Candy, her best friends, she has recruited now to try to catch the real killer and clear her name. Last we saw you two, you had uh, found Barbie at her camper on the outskirts of town and got this mission from her to go track down her other three exes, Kenzo, Kendall, and Keenan, and try to get some information from them because they might know who the killer is. You headed to the racetrack, you met a little uh, man there, Rocky Papaducci. He was a big fan of yours. <clears throat> gave out some autographs to him. Mm -hmm. Which I then, kept. Which she kept. You snuck in under the guise of a race track or race car driver named Jeff and Bobby. We Jeff is and Bobby. Jeff and Bobby. We is Jeff and Bobby. Mm -hmm. And Barbie had flipped you the keys to her purple Corvette. Went straight through the garage door. I am the doll maker. I am the storyteller guiding you to through this journey to try to absolve Barbie. We also are playing a game here. So we're going to be rolling D6s throughout this to determine our fate. A one to two is a failure, five to six a success, and then three to four is that like fun middle ground where we can see maybe your proficiencies will help you. Um, Georgette, you are really good at everything. Yeah, I can do anything I set my mind to. Yeah, you're a farmer, you have a store, you're just, you're smart, you got great logic, and then there's candy. She's sweet like candy. She's real sweet like candy and a, and a musical soul. And my daddy says I have a personality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, a couple, maybe, romantic dalliances. Just the one. Just the one. You're, you're betrothed to your South American... My beau. <laughs> who you've never met. No. Pen pals. I hope yeah. to never meet him. And then you've got a Zake. friend, Zake. Yeah. Who works with you at the... He works the at Tables. Tables, which yeah. is a restaurant. I mean, yeah. It's, well, it's a, it's a franchise location. Okay. And she just performs at the one. And I just, yeah, I don't work. I don't work there. I don't work there. I'm a serious musician. I perform at tables. And I they see. don't pay her. That's. I mean, I get so much exposure. Well, the truth. A lot of the truth is coming out now. And Thank you, Georgette. All the mozzarella dippers that I that a girl could hope for. Oh. I provide them with all the the cheese from my farm of cows. Oh. And breading from your wheat fields. That's true. Which usually Barbie would be helping you in. Yeah. Well, mostly Fred takes care of the wheat fields. What animal does mozzarella come from? What, what's the meat? Uh, the mozzarella. It's a it's, it's a fowl. Mo mozzarella. You, you mentioned Fred mozzarella. just a moment ago. Who is yes. Fred? Fred is the little critter who works on my farm. Was he a was he a ferret? A marmot? He's a ferret. He's, I awesome. think. He's a ferret. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he was a uh, apparently moonlighting as Barbie's mechanic. And I saw his moon alighting out of the exhaust and I pulled him out by his tail. So now you find yourselves on the precipice of Kenzo's big race. You have Barbie's Corvette. It's like pretty clear, like you, you got the car from the garage and then the start line of the race is like basically right, yeah. right there, so. Oh, Candy, I didn't realize we were gonna race in this race. And I didn't realize this was a European made Corvette. Well, we apparently have to drive and drive fast, and my tractor only goes up to five miles an hour, and I've driven faster than five miles an hour, and I didn't know you, the wind could move faster than five miles an hour. Well, think about it. Why is a tractor so slow? Well, because of, pa of patience Cause and of, all of the molasses. Because of all the molasses. <laughs> you do have your molasses farm. Yeah. Well, no, the tractor runs on molasses. Oh, which makes it slow. It's well, fuel. just imagine that this tractor, this sports tractor, okay. runs on something much more slippery. Like? Mar margarine. Margarine is more slippery than I remember than what my stepmother, Margarine, said to me. <laughs> if you want something slippy, get butter. Butter, like Betsy makes. Okay, well, <laughs> fortunately this car just runs on gasoline <laughs> that you're currently in. I like so the we, smell. We don't have to deal with that. 
But uh, there are a couple things that you know about Kenzo, who you're trying to meet because Barbie dated him before. They had a brief uh, romantic interlude. And you know that this guy, he is super competitive and he's hard to get to. Like, he's just an adrenaline junkie. He's always off doing something. But you need to talk to him. You need to ask him some questions. Barbie said that Kenzo, among the other Kens, might have some information. As you are waiting at the start line, you see just a very, very slick, almost shiny, that it looks like it could be the butter or margarine powering a tractor. It's so slick. A, a black race car, all black, black as night, void race car, pull up. Is it like a black shade of pink? It would be the blackest shade of pink, yes. Okay, now yes, I understand. Yes, 100%. Oh. Yes, the exact reaction it would solic <laughs> solicit. You see it pull up to, this, to the start line, just to, like across the way from you, and it is Kenzo. And Kenzo, he is just the coolest looking guy you've ever seen. He's rocking out to some music right now. And uh, you can try calling out to him, but you probably won't be able to get his attention because he is just so into it. This is how- Feel the rain on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> this is how he gets pumped for his races. You kind of see what Barbie saw in him, you know? He's a powerful guy, right? He's focused. Yeah. Oh, he's so powerful. And I see what Barbie saw in him and also what my late husband Buck saw in him. Oh, that's right, Georgette, you are a widow. We haven't I explored that, that yet. Mm -hmm. Yes, and my late husband Buck was a big fan of Kenzo. Even just placing in the top three in Kenzo's race would not even just be uh, a way to get to, to him, but it would also be a tribute to Buck, to Buck. Did, did you say? Yeah, to Buck. It'd be Buck a was a racer? Buck. No, he was a big fan of racing. Yeah. He just didn't have what it took. Yeah, he was a big fan oh. of everything. Okay, well, uh, and, and I say, oh, it looks like we're going to have to turn right at the dungeon of Mathgul. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Uh, well, you, She's right. <laughs> you will be having to hit some, some hard lefts here because the track is a circle, and as for the audio listeners, we've got a track here a board that we're going to be racing around. Perfect circle. And uh, <laughs> wouldn't that be hitting hard rats? Well, if we're going counterclockwise. Counter oh, which way do you prefer to go? The normal way? Well, no, I think that is the normal way. <laughs> in, the, in the Barbie verse. I, no. NASCAR? They go counterclockwise? Don't they go yeah, don't. that way? I'm trying to remember the arcade game I think that it's, I played. I you think, think it's turn left. It's all left turns. Yeah. Because oh below the gosh. equator, it's a different, it's like an Australian <laughs> Georgette's toilet. still in mourning. She's still in mourning. I miss Buck. <laughs> it's 1.30. Buck would have explained this to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to be uh, rolling first to see how you all are lining up at the start line. Because it's not just you racing. We've got Georgette and Candy in one car. And then we've got Kenzo in his uh, cool all-black race car. And then we've got a couple of the, the other racers on the track today. I see a man with a long, twirly mustache and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I know them. Candy, who is that with a long, twirly mustache and the dog? That's the man that ties me to the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see he's kind of got his fingers tented and he's looking very eerily. And uh, that's actually uh, Tito Martinez. He has quite the prowess on the track and off, and he is known for tying unsuspecting Barbies to racetracks. Oh, I suspect it. He has a dastardly kink. Tito looks around the track and he murmurs to himself, not many train tracks on this racetrack. And what does the dog say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, Tito. <laughs> we'll have to take them away from the track. He yes. pays me a significant sum to allow him to do that. Yes. They are decommissioned train, tra train tracks. The, the oh, so Barbie you're part of it. The Barbie Continental doesn't run any longer. You're part of this. Oh, curtain. yeah. Okay. He's into damsel play. <laughs> wow. All right. And he murmurs out to himself, I'm into damsel play. And the dogs, oh, yeah, I've seen it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all kind of roll to see how we, uh, right. we are positioned. Oh, who's the, is this? There's, a, there's a hot new racer who's, who's on the track now. And her name is uh, Summer. So Summer is, she's, again, like gorgeous Barbie. Maybe she and Kenzo have a little bit of a thing going on on the side. <gasps> My so goodness. it would be a shame if uh, she didn't place in the in the top three. Is but that we'll a see. threat? We'll just see. Mm. Oh. We'll just see. And, and Kenzo, you kind of see Summer, and you give her a little. Well, 
So yeah. he's positioned himself in front of her in the starting lineup. Oh, we're going to roll and figure out <laughs> oh, how you all okay. are positioned in the starting okay, lineup. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll first. Well, it's a three. So, be bad. Five. No. Five. One. A one, and then I'll just roll in general for the a two. So we're going to... Pole Ken, position as you So did. Kenzo's in, in the blue in the pole, and then uh, we've got... Georgette, oh, I don't know why you rolled. I don't You're know. You're in the same car. <laughs> Very candy. Um, <laughs> so then we've got Georgette and Candy. And then we've got uh, the I other racers. I, we've got Tito Martinez and uh, Summer. Summer taking up the rear. Since I did roll a one, though, do I do something poorly as you, a passenger? <laughs> <laughs> you adjust the mirrors of the car. Not, not, so any tra- yeah, not, yeah, not so any traffic can be seen coming up, but just, just so you can look at your own reflection. I wrote a song named Summer. Let's hear it. <laughs> it's one chord. <laughs> Sun at the pool. All right, well, the, uh, you can see that the announcers are ready. The, I don't know what you would call the referee on a race. Track marshal. Uh, track marshal. Yeah. This is why you're Kenzo. Ready with the pistol at the starting line. And <laughs> pistol, huh? Okay. <laughs> you're, all ready. Pistol. you're all ready to go. The starter pistol goes off, and Kenzo, you're you're pulling ahead because you're already in in oh, the yeah, front yeah. there. So, so you D4, can roll your D4, D4 yeah. Roll, see how far we get. Three. Three there. Is there so no pace car. How does this work? Two, three. Oh, and Kenzo, right away, you oh. hit the Nas here. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's gonna give you an extra two spaces. <gasps> Next up. Oh my god. Okay. We've got Georgette I'll and Candy. Yes, coming in but here. It's Jeff and Bobby. So another thing too is you are all undercover right now because you took the position yes. of Jeff and Bobby. Yes, uh, okay. and we opted to no not drive. No physical dro- appearance though, no. just yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And we're not we're driving t- his car. And we're currently, driving Barbara's Corvette. He, and currently Jeff and Bobby, the real racer, is being strong-armed out of the arena by one Rocky Pepaducci. By Rocky <laughs> Pepaducci's goons? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already met the <laughs> yes. Jeff and Bobby. All right, two. two. Damn it. Hey, no, that was, don't I get to roll? Yeah. No. <laughs> so I just, just two ahead like there. Okay. It's like you, you're, you're. Yeah. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for. Oh, that's a three. So I, I'll, I'm also hitting the Nas as a candy question. Can the dog from the last episode still be following us? The dog. <laughs> <onto> the <laughs> race track. And you kind of look in the mirror that Candy has adjusted, and then you see a wild pack of dogs pull in behind. And actually, let's just. I'll make this green uh, marker. That's going to be. Or a Tito in summer, and the purple's gonna be the dogs. Okay. So they're just gonna be keeping pace <laughs> slowly behind you both. Tito so, and summer neck and neck? So, uh, no, right now this is. So Tito and, yeah, Tito and summer are neck and neck. They're about the same skill. So they, they rolled a three. So they're, they hit the Nas too, and now they're pulling ahead. They're, Where's the Nas? Candy, we are not professional race car drivers. I'm, I'm lighting the cigarette lighter. I'm turning on the radio. <laughs> I'm pulling out every button, every glove compartment. I'm putting the seat back. I'm like, I don't know how to go faster. <laughs> Your seats are so warm right now. <laughs> yeah. Candy, you're freaking me out. Oh, my bottom's hot. <laughs> Kenzo, you're chill as ice, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're coming into the first turn. <laughs> oh, the <that's laughs> first turn. Kind of like, he's very, very intercontinental here. Yeah, yeah, see. yeah. We're settling on French accent. <laughs> yeah, French. South of France. All right, so the dogs have pulled in line with Georgette and Candy. Dogs are, and they they recognize Barbie's car actually oh. too. So they're like, why isn't she picking us up? Oh right, she this abandoned is, her dogs. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so Kenzo, you're up now. You're coming around that first turn. Let's hope you don't hit a one because that way. Oh, oh no! One. He rolled a one. That's burnout. That's gonna put you right back, right to, back where I was. to where you were. And uh, Georgette, Georgette and Candy, you're next. Okay, up. you can go ahead and roll this one. Okay. We see we see Kenzo burn out ahead, and I go, oh, because I also a buck, you know. I heard he my- was so important a buck, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I want to see Kenzo win. So, yeah, you're torn on this. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I reach into my bag and I take out my fastest crystal. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Magenta Sips. Wait, Magenta Sips? Magenta Sips. There's a P in there. And I say, I wish with all my might to go faster. Three. Three. Okay. Three. All right. That's putting you neck and neck now with Tito, Summer, and uh, and Kenzo. Kenzo. And of course, the dogs. <laughs> the dogs hit the Nas and they are. <laughs> Do they, can they talk at all to Tito's mutt? 
I would imagine there is some kind of dog like dialogue. like like Tito. Actually, in fact, like Tito's dog kind of looks over. Oh, we've got trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tito because he sees the other dogs yeah, he's coming like, up. My cousins. Yeah. All right, Kenzo, you're up. <laughs> Three. Oh. Okay. Four. Oh, that's a big roll. So then that takes one, two, Georgette and Candy. Three, five, four. Two roll again. again. Oh shit! Thank you, Majempathus. <laughs> I guess the crystal is working. Four. Four. Oh my god! Another big <laughs> drive, four. drive, one, drive. Two, three, the wind is I'm like four. <laughs> <laughs> Tito and Summer hit the burnout, and Tito, <laughs> and, they're, and they're sent back one space because the burnout costs you a space. Well, now where are the dogs? Are they the keeping dogs, up with us? The dogs are coming here. Could, and they could cut across the center. Of the That's true. The dogs are bound by human rules. Yeah, they, they're not racers. That's a good idea. The dogs uh, <laughs> they sprint across the center of the track because you had a big, big roll with the rolling again, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they make it all the way up behind. And and I, I I would say like, how are you feeling about the dogs now? Like, is it comforting to see them? I'm like hanging out like a dog myself. <laughs> with both hands on the side of the door with my her, hair Her flapping. ears are... <laughs> and I'm, I'm waving my, my kerchief. And I'm like, boys! <laughs> and then I come back in and I say, they're hungry. <laughs> yeah, how are you two going to feed these dogs? <laughs> I think I have something for this. And I pull out... Um, uh, some takeaway uh, hot dog nachos from tables. Ooh, well, and okay. they're getting so thirsty too because they're running. Okay, and I, I pull, pull out, out a, nothing. You do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I pull out one of the things that I always have on me: a bottle of wine. Okay, so we're getting these dogs a little tipsy. Yeah, because they're, they're always whining. Me? Like I need to eat something. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pouring the wine out and I'm throwing hot dogs and nachos <laughs> through the wine. Kenzo, how are you feeling right now? Because that's oh, on the you're track. Seeing, White knuckle well, frustrated. You're seeing who you think to be what the hell was his name? Jeff and Bobby. Jeff and Bobby, your rival and Bobby. racer. You you see him pulling way far ahead of you. You don't know that it's the Barbies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think He's I'm gonna, throwing I think hot I'm, dogs out. Of the yeah, yeah, there's like there's stuff falling off the car. I think I'm on the the um, headset. With my pit crew, like, what are they doing? What are they doing with this car? They are cheating, perhaps. Kenzo, Kenzo, sir, we did not know. How is he pulling ahead? What am I paying you incompetent food oh. for? <laughs> apologies, apologies. This is not good enough. <laughs> and I roll. I get one, but that's a roll again, right? Yes, yes, yeah. you roll again. And it's another one. Another one. So you're, you're slowly catching up. And and in fact... You forgot to fuel my car. <laughs> Please, apologize. Hot just, dogs. Just, <laughs> you so, got the wipers uh, on and there's hot dogs <laughs> sticking to the... <laughs> hot dogs and jalapenos that are soaked in wine. Oh, yeah. And there yeah, there does seem the to have been some... Stick. That's what it is. The wine makes it stick, makes which it is stick. why I've rolled two ones in a row. Yeah. <laughs> just hot dogs. The debris <laughs> flying <laughs> on the track. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> Georgette and Candy... You're now at the pit stop, so you're you pull into the into the pit. Here you get your car service. You've got a little breather here, so what? What's happening here? What's happening? What's oh, the strategy? Candy, I've never gone so fast in my life. I'm gonna write a song about this one day. Oh, Buck would be so proud of me. Yeah, he'd be proud of me too. A member of your pit crew, they're in their kind of their full suit. The Jeff and, and Bobby pit crew. The Jeff and Bobby pit crew, technically. Yeah. They uh, they kind of sidle up to the car and they look like they're changing the tire and then they they pop up their hat a little bit and you can see it's Barbie. <gasps> Hi girls. And, <laughs> Barbie. Oh, I say no. We're Jeff and Bobby. Oh, of course. Well, I had a feeling that you would use your ingenuity as usual to get into the race, but but keep it down. No one's supposed to know that I'm here. I'm hiding out in the pit crew. That's dangerous. <laughs> well, but you know I can do anything, Georgette. Yes. It's true. She did have that stint working in a pit crew. <laughs> Dale Earnhardt, Jr., Jr., Jr.? Yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, you are doing fantastic. Stop. Okay? Barbie, I'm so scared. <laughs> Don't be. Georgette, you know what we always say on the farm? It ain't it's nothing, nothing but, but a... A chicken's, chicken's wing. wing. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's what I'm always ordering at tables. Yes. I miss yes. that. That's why we're all best friends. Ain't, oh, yeah. ain't nothing, no, ain't nothing but a... wings. Remember, Kenzo thinks that you are Jeff and Bobby, so you must pick the perfect time to reveal to him who you really are. And if you're lucky, if you win this race, you can get a spot at Kenzo's winner dinner. <gasps> And that's where you can ask him questions and get the information we need because he only invites the most elite racers to his winter dinner. 
Okay. Is there chicken served there? You know what we always say? Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing, nothing but, but a chicken, chicken wing served, served at dinner. dinner. <laughs> so remember, oh. keep your eye on the prize, your head in the game, and that winner dinner will be yours. Candy. Barbie, quick question. Barbie. <laughs> in a race, how does the pit work? Shouldn't we be go? <laughs> <laughs> and and with that, uh, Barbie reaches down and she picks up a rock and she she throws it down at the gas pedal. And she goes, Bye girls! <laughs> and then your car, you take off um, back. Back onto the track, and uh, I really don't understand how it works. And I, I believe, I believe it's your turn <laughs> to roll because you, you just pulled Here into you the go. pit. Candy, use those crystals. Four. Four. What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Wait, you rolled three fours in a row. Yeah. One, two, the do- three. The dogs four. are keeping great. The dog- dogs are getting tired. Because the they had all the wine. Tired, okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey everyone, we wanted to take a moment to remind you that RTX 2023 is happening this July 7th through July 9th. Join us this summer for a memorable weekend at our Camp for Indoor Kids, featuring 15 plus live shows, special meet and greets, exclusive parties, fun panels, and much more with guests ranging from your favorite RT groups like Funhouse, that's us, and Achievement Hunter, not us, to friends like Therapy Gecko, the Super Carlin Bros, and new rock stars. RTX 2023 is an event you won't want to miss. Badges for this three-day fun fest are available for as low as 55 buckaroos. Thanks for listening to us get very excited about RTX. We're looking forward to meeting all of you out there. Head on over to www.rtxaustin.com to get more information about the event and buy your badge. Hi, I'm Barbara. And I'm Blaine. Do you like dungeons? You like dragons. Do you like dungeons and dragons? Oh, baby, we got the podcast for you. It's called Tales Tales from from the the Stinky Stinky Dragon. Dragon. Our D&D shows, and like other D&D shows, it's better. Yeah, those other D&D shows can take a hike because on Tales Tales from from the the Stinky Stinky Dragon, Dragon, we've got a soundtrack, sound effects, and a fully voiced cast of characters. It's like a radio play, if you even know what a radio play is. Heck, we might even have characters voiced by people from those other D&D shows that aren't as good as our show. You know, the show called Tales Tales from from the the Stinky Stinky Dragon. Dragon. So give us a listen wherever you consume podcasts, we're starting our second campaign with a new setting, new characters, so it's a perfect time to jump on into Tales from, from the Stinky Dragon. And now we've got Tito and yeah. Summer, and, and Tito, he's he's eyeing Summer, who's, who's kind of <laughs> neck and neck with him, and he's thinking, he wishes he wasn't on the racetrack, he wishes that he was uh, at track. some train tracks tying yeah. this woman down. <laughs> a one. Oh, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> burn it again. <laughs> I'll never make it to Kenzo's winner dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they serve chicken. Kenzo four. four. Oh my god. Big roll from Kenzo. One, two, three, four. He's catching up. Georgette, Candy, this could be it. So we've got how many dogs in the car with us now? Are there like 15? A couple have made it into the car. Some are still running behind and quite frankly, some just didn't make it. Oh. <laughs> Barbie Stokes! We should have put a disclaimer. There will be dog death in this series. <gasps> Such is life. One. It's a one. That takes you to t- Trash Talk Alley. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? Okay, now here's the here's the big thing is you can kind of see Kenzo behind you, and he's he's getting a little bit fired up. He's not used to losing, so he's pulled, he's rolled down his windows here. For speed. And <laughs> if you want to get an extra space, you gotta hit Kenzo with some of the hardest trash talk that he's ever heard. Georgette. You have mean. Oh, no, like. <laughs> Georgette, you can be mean and biting when you want. What would you say? I would say, Kenzo, if my husband were still alive, he'd leave me for you. Okay, oh. and then I stick my kid out the car and I say, Kenzo, I'm leaving you for my husband. If you're alive. What is Jeff and Bobby talking about husbands for? I don't know. That's, uh, we are happily married. So you're trash I talk. told him what you said. <laughs> You know, you said this, you said that your husband would leave. My husband would leave me if he was still alive. And you would leave Kenzo. Well, I was just, she's driving. So yeah. I'm just getting the information yeah, as yeah. it was said to I'm, me. I'm like, but Jeff and Bobby are married yeah. to each other. This does not make any sense. It's like a game of telekinesis. And Jeff and Bobby married to himself. The dogs have, have all released a unified fecal dump. Also, as they see uh, Kenzo coming up too. Works? It's like trauma dumping. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I see, I see. Like, Which I have a crystal for that. <laughs> <laughs> Kenzo is like, he's so, he's not like feeling uh, targeted by this. He's not feeling attacked. He's just so confused. Very confusing. That it, it causes him to kind of like take his- shift his, from his, first to yeah, second. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> 100%. And uh, so you kind of succeeded at that. So you get it to move forward 
one other space. And we filled Barbie's there. car with dog shit. And you are one space <laughs> from the finish line. Yeah, you're so close. You have it in your. We'd side. have to really screw up to <laughs> yeah. not finish first. <laughs> Can we both stick our heads out the window and look at him and see? And he. So we. So, I'll stick out this side. And you yeah, stick but we're out. sitting this way driving, right? So then what? we. Stick oh. our heads out the window <laughs> oh, and I look see, back at Kanzo. Like, let's drive. Let's drive. Let's drive. <laughs> okay. So you're then, yeah you're uh, driving. You, you're European. You're, it's uh, and then we stick our heads out the window like. Kanzo, it's us. It's Georgette. Oh, and Georgette and Candy. Yeah. So Kenzo, you see, you thought it was Jeff and Bobby, yeah. and then you're seeing like, who are these two Barbies? Yeah. That are disguised as like this is your rival. Yeah, yeah. Is this intriguing to you? <laughs> I feel like this would just cause me to be, because I'm in, in race mode, it would cause me to push the gas pedal down the second <gasps> level. Because like, I don't know if you know this, but cars, you can push it all the way to the floor, but you can continue mm -hmm. pushing it and you get more gas. Do a roll and let's see what happens. A regular, one of like, you. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay, so you rolled a three there. This had an inadvertent effect. He gains two spaces. Oh. Yeah. So if Kenzo on it would have his been three, but there was a dog in the middle of the track <laughs> that, so <laughs> that had to swerve to avoid. Right. Because he said, "Oh shit!" I said, "Oh shit!" Now, yeah, yeah. Kenzo's shit, rolling zoo. now. So yeah. if he rolls a four, he has won the race. Better hope I don't roll a four. I hope he doesn't roll a four. One. It's ah. a one. Okay, but he's still. That's what I thought you said. He's won. He's still <laughs> getting there. And now uh, uh, back to Tito and Summer. Four. So they're if, could they go apparently. backwards and cross yeah. the finish oh, roll line? Again. They gotta roll again, but I don't think they're gonna win it. One, two. Okay, so now it's the last roll. So unless Candy somehow fucks this up um, uh, enormously, it looks like you two are about to cross the finish line in first place. You see what we got here. Actually, to make yeah, this interesting, this let's do this, okay? Okay. Let's have you two do your roll, and this is gonna be like you're putting pedal to the metal here, and then, then let's have you roll a d6 to see if you succeed or you burn out. Okay. Okay. So roll that. And then we'll justify that. Yeah. So roll, roll this. Four. Yeah. Okay. You wanna roll. Zake, in all your infinite wisdom, may you wash this dish with your holy hands. One. One. So just <laughs> enough. Now let's get that d6 and see. Four. Four. And I, I uh, take off my Barbie heel, both of them. <gasps> And I use the, my little toes, you know, because you nubs. Just got a little <laughs> yeah, toe, right. <laughs> and I put them both on the gas. And it's kind of four is kind of ambiguous, right? Well, here's the other thing too: is like the car is getting a little bit heavy. We're gonna have to get rid of the dogs, but I would never do that to you. And then I open the door and cross my arms. And I go and I say, and I say, I do it all for my South American boy. <laughs> so you two pull ahead. You you cross that finish line. Well, it's just her. Kenzo, he comes in second behind you. Meanwhile, uh, Tito Martinez is taking Summer on a detour. They're off to find a railroad track to tie her <laughs> yeah. down. To. She's kind of into it too, so it works out. That it's can a, be a lot of good cash. Yeah, and so non-taxable um, income. Kenzo, you kind of go up to them. You're you're boggled I'm, by I'm, what just I'm, happened I'm here. I'm screaming. Am I okay? You're <laughs> <laughs> the dogs caught you <laughs> and basically oh, rolled you to a safety. Cherry, yeah, you, little cherry of dogs. You hit a furry barrier <laughs> as you tumbled from the car, and then the dogs. And uh, the, it killed the dog. Yeah, but Kenzo, yeah, you so you storm up to these to these Barbies. And, and I don't and I, I I don't recognize. Do I recognize them or do I, are they my rivals? You do kind of recognize them. You know that they're Barbie's best friends. Okay, 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 okay. How did you get? Get into this race. This is only sanctioned races only. Jeff and Bobby, racer. I don't bet this for one second. I spit in your hand. Candy, he knows who we are now. Jeff I'll and Bobby, Candy. I would begrudgingly shake your hand, and I begrudgingly shake your hand. I say, even though you have conducted some kind of uh, deception to get into this race, you still have won it. Yes. And for that, I begrudgingly respect you. So I don't need to apologize then, which is not what I was going to do. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So, Winners you, never apologize. Do you remember what happened to Park? No. Okay. Do you remember what happened to Kenneth? These things do not mean anything to me. Were you at the party? Names. What party? The only party that matters is winning. And the winning circle. And the milk that you drink. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the circle. And, which and, you are now, which you have. <laughs> <laughs> as, as Kenzo says this, he kind of tosses his cape. Or he's wearing a cape. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah He flourishes his cape and then he storms off, but then in the wake of this, he leaves you an invitation and it's to his, his winter dinner tonight. Come if you want. I do not care. However, you appear to have what it takes to be a race car driver. Wow, it's printed on asphalt. 
<laughs> I could eat. Rather conveniently and also kind of like weird, um, <laughs> Ken Kenzo lives in a house right next to the racetrack because he's he's so into this. So wow. you really don't have to go far to get to his place. And uh, it's it's a very like ostentatious, very like ornate, you can tell from the outside, like Greek columns sort of deal. He clearly uh, likes the lavish things in yeah. life. There's a big sign as you cross that says like, look to your right before walking up to the house, you know. Cause, cause you it's might... an active racetrack yeah. that's next to, you know what I mean? Oh, is it in the middle of the racetrack? Yeah, so you might you might uh, have someone fly by uh, yeah. at any time. I'm, look, I'm <laughs> looking to the right and Candy's looking to the left. Of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that other rat. Okay, the coast is clear, and then we're gonna walk up and we're walking into the mansion with the columns. And uh, you're greeted at the door by a tall, and he's a handsome guy, you know? He's very uh, smooth. <laughs> and uh, he's kind of got like a white button-up shirt on and slacks. He looks very proper, and he's got a little bit of a uh, handkerchief over his arm. And he says, oh, hello, Georgette and Candy. Uh, Kenzo has been expecting you. I'm Todd. Oh, well, hi, Todd. Hello, manservant. Right this way. Kenzo's at dinner, and he can't wait to see you. Come on. Todd takes you into the dining room, and they're seated at a long table uh, is Kenzo yeah, yeah. and you can tell from this that you know Kenzo he wants the best of everything mm. there's fine art everywhere there's uh, taxidermy on the walls from exotic places what what else Kenzo would you describe your oh, yeah. haven just having in, just an entire just every race car throughout history in model replica form hanging from the ceiling the weight requirements for the load bearing like beams is out of control, the amount of engineering that's gone into lifting cars into the air, <laughs> yeah. dangling, just dangling above us at all times. But yeah, you get, but, and the problem is, it's because it's above you, it's just the, what you can see is just the underside of a bunch of F1 cars. Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. I lean over to Georgia and I say, usually they're on the ground. <laughs> well, I've never seen these kinds of tractors before. <laughs> you follow Todd in and Todd kind of, he goes over to his boss and he says, Kenzo, sir, your guests have arrived for dinner. You think I already know this? Oh. I have the cameras all over the place. You don't need to tell me things I already know. You're, You're right. You idiot. You yes. buffoon. You're right. I am stupid. I am stupid. Yes. I am stupid. 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 Repeat the monster to yourself that I have taught you. I am stupid. Mm -hmm. Kenzo is smart. Yes. This is why I'm not a Ken, and yes. I never will be. Mm, perfect. Thank you for correcting me, sir. Mm, yeah, mm, yes, yes. Todd, he he gestures to your seats, and then he he heads to the kitchen. Yes. Oh, thanks, Todd. Are we like all the way across? Like... Thank you, stupid. <laughs> you you can be though. It might Hello, be... welcome to the winner dinner. What? You need to speak up. Oh, lean over. There's an intercom next to the the table setting. This is Candy and Georgette here. Ah, uh, you're the ones who won the rest. Uh, yes, and Barbie's best friends, you dated her a little a little while ago. You remember Barbie? Ah, uh, so many women, so many years, it all is all a fog to me, but uh, yes, I think I do remember the Barbie, yes. She was uh, blonde and white? Ah, uh, yes, so many <laughs> blonde white women, so many, um, all. Who all, has the time? Uh, who, has, who can remember all of these things? I need to, hey, Todd, Todd. Todd comes running back in like the little pitter patter like baby's feet. <laughs> <I don't know laughs> why. Uh, yes. Sir, yes, sir. How Please uh, uh, consult the uh, encyclopedia, the, the, the database of all the people I've dated. Is there a Bobby in there? Oh, and, and Todd just touches Bro the side of his temples, <laughs> his, his temples, and he says, Yes, Kenzo uh, dated Barbie for six months. Mm, a bit of a workaholic. Yes, ah, oh, the workaholic. Yes, yeah, she's too much uh, into. All the jobs that she does, she has no heart, no passion for racing, no singular-minded focus like me. So it could never work out. She's accounting. <laughs> ah, yes, she was working at one of the big four. <laughs> it's a niche accounting joke for people who are finance majors. It would never work out for me because my heart is only in one place. And the asphalt, the track, the mm -hmm. rubber. Yeah, the Dow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, Barbie's time at Merrill Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> and it's then that like, Todd comes back in and he's got a, he's got a tray full of dishes for everyone. And, and Candy and Georgette, he serves you what looks like swordfish. And then to Kenzo, he serves you a dish that looks like un, unlike any creature you've ever seen. Like no one could put a name to, to what this thing is. And Todd leans over and he mm. says, uh, you're, sh you're Shripa Naudu, sir. Ah. 
Is it the Shepard medium rare? Yeah. Uh, as you as you like it. <laughs> and I have a meat thermometer, and I'm gonna stick it in there, and I like a roll for what the please, temperature is. Please, please. For done this, it's a one. Ooh. It's one degree. It's raw. This is a black and blue. Todd panics, and he grabs the meat thermometer, and he just sticks it in his thigh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Three, which is where you would want that to be. Yeah. I'm so, I am so sorry, <laughs> sir. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll, I'll bring this back to you. I'll bring this back to you, heated. In the meantime, your wine. Your wine ah, is here. Ah, finally. I'll Without eat the shampoo. Sure, now do. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Georgia is very, very refined, so she, of course, can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have and that go, on your farm? Um, no, Kenzo, if you're hungry, I've got some of Betsy's cheese. She pulled out a wheel of cheese. Roll it over here! And then, yeah, she just pushes and it goes. As it's rolling over, I'm gonna hit the intercom and be like, So you are acquaintances of Bobby? What do you care about this Bobby and my past conquests? And just the cheese all, is yeah, very just the slowly whole time coming. Yeah, just slowly it's a very, it's very slow. I was gonna get to it eventually. I can see it's on the right uh, line. I was gonna say, yeah, that in front of him would be a checkered line yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the table. In the, in the meantime, while Kenzo drinks his wine, you have some questions. Yes. Yes. Correct? Yes. Now, Kenzo, we were hoping you could help us. What do you want? Mr. J- uh, Jenko. Uh, Ken- we- Kenzo. Kenko? Kenzo. Kinkos. Ken- no. We're wondering, because um, we, TBH, don't think Barbie did it. No, we don't think that she, you know, murdered that poor Kenneth. Oh, yeah, to get you up to speed. I don't ah, know if you know what happened. Yes, I've heard this all over the news. We've heard about this. Yeah, she's never did seem the type. You're correct. I think your, your assumptions are correct, but uh, hmm. sometimes you have to let the wheels of justice turn. Like the wheels of a race car. Or cheese. Like the cheese or that's cheese. still making its way. Yeah. It's taking a long yes. time. Todd, come here, nudge the cheese towards me, please. Todd comes back in and he's limping. A lot of blood. <laughs> he's losing a lot of blood here because he stabbed himself. And, and he comes in and then just uh, he's holding his leg. So with his nose, he just nudges the wheel of cheese. Ah, yes, he very good, very good. He doesn't sweep in front of it on top of the table. <laughs> like, like he's curling. Yes. Well, yeah, after that, he does. He pulls out. He's got a little, little, dustpan. Uh, little dustpan that he carries around with him just for any case of any mess. And he starts. You know, on the table, and he's he's feverishly sweeping it. Yeah, and I'll say that takes the cake. I go carrot cake, and, and Todd says in a minute. <laughs> 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 no, no rush, Todd. Now, Kenzo, if you care so much about the wheels of justice as much as you care about a wheel of cheese, then you would help us clear Barbie's name. I would, but I only help, as you say, winners. And while you may have bested me on the racetrack today. I don't buy entirely that you did so without some degree of deception or subterfuge. Well, Barbie won the blue ribbon in dog grooming four years in a row when that was her thing. I so, care not for dogs. And these dogs, they have wheels. She's a winner. Some of them do. Scooter, the dachshund. <laughs> Kenzo. Yes. What? What are some of your favorite things? What fills you up in life? Ah, like very a, Like gasoline fills a car. Yes, yes. My, some of my favorite things. Number one, gasoline. <laughs> Number two, cars. <laughs> Number three, cars full of gasoline, going fast, taking the corners as fast as possible, shaving milliseconds off of your uh, best lap times, constantly winning. And there's one other game you love, ah, right? Of course. Kenzo? And there's, of course, cards. Gambling, nothing nothing to, mm, to serve the, the whims of a winner such as myself. Sometimes you have to put it all on the line, like I do every day on the track. So. Mm, I have a proposal for you, perhaps. Okay. If you would like my help, show me you have what it takes to be a winner. A wager of cards, perhaps. We could play this game. A game of kings and queens and jacks <laughs> and aces and all the numbers he up just, to ten. And he lists all the numbers. Could you, could you list those? Yeah. I'm yes. not 100%. Yes. Yes. To start all. with, one. Yes. Ah, but in this game, it is an ace. <laughs> or okay. is it? One. He wants you to play blackjack with him. Kenzo! Yes? uh, That's great, and so if you win, you will... Yes, I will offer you some, uh, perhaps some sensitive information that may be helpful for your cause. Okay, great. And and then, um... If we lose, you get Georgette's farm. Oh. An entire farm. No, that's it's got cows and shrimp and booze. That's interesting. Yes. Let's retcon that. <laughs> what if How we... How about but we're the not gonna biggest lose. adrenaline rush of all? You can come to Betsy's Big 40th birth. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have you ever been in the barn and rolling around in the hay when there's a cow being born? Yeah, in the afterbirth. <laughs> it's the biggest rush of all. I've done it 39 times. Slow down, slow down. You're making me hungry. <laughs> okay, well, you can't eat the cow, but we could get you some milk 
to cool you off, because it gets pretty sweaty in there. Bring me the gambling deck. Todd brings you over. Uh, a the, gilded, golden. The gambling. He comes over and he goes, The gambling <laughs> deck. And so Kenzo's going to be the dealer here, and here's how it's going to work. It's not going to be with cards. It's going to be with dice. It's going to be with dice. Yeah. All right, so here's how it works. You roll two d10 dice, and Kenzo will do the same. Then you and Kenzo have the option to roll as many additional dice as you see fit, but there is a catch because you cannot exceed 21 as the total sum of your dice. This is why they call it blackjack. Yes, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's or you will lose the it. game immediately. Now, if Kenzo rolls a natural 21 from the start, then you lose, Georgette and Candy. But if you roll 21, then Kenzo loses. All ties go to the dealer. You roll first, but I only roll one of my dice. You see which one's up. I have a one up. Would you like to buy insurance? So, and you <laughs> rolled for 16. A 79. <laughs> you rolled a 16. Do you want to buy insurance? To hit that. You're going to stay at 16. We're going to stay. For Jet and Candy. Okay. So, you're going to. Is Todd coming around with watered down drinks? Todd, he, he's kind of like looking nervous. He doesn't like when Kenzo gambles because Kenzo will often take his losses out on Todd. Yeah, yeah. This is Todd's retirement that I'm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are gambling away. Todd, you see this? Say goodbye to your 401k. Oh, oh no. It's 401 <laughs> okay for me. Ah, this is why I keep you around. More wine, boss? Yes, please, please, please. I, uh, Top me off. Todd fills Kenzo's wine for him. Anything for you, ladies? I'll have an ice cream on the Can rocks. you bring back that wheel, cheese? Uh, Still certainly. So he starts on the other side of it, starts <laughs> brushing like he's curling that wheel of cheese <laughs> over to you. And, uh, so yeah, so you're staying at 16. Kenzo, you got a 1 hold, or an I'm 11. I'm digging into my swordfish. There's an ace. 6. So you have 17 or you've got a... If there's one thing that you know about winners, winners always hit. I'm a hit on a soft 17 as the dealer, which is usually illegal, but Kenzo doesn't play by the rules. Ooh. 27. That's a bust. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping it'd be so cool. You could have lied <gasps> to me. Oh my gosh. Well, too bad we're playing best of three. So you have won the first one, but that is customary. The guest always gets to win the first one. Let us go again. Yeah, that's just French okay. hospitality, which is an oxymoron, but go on. Yes. <laughs> Candy, you do it now. I spent all daddy's money once at Hara's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's know what a, that means. A 19. Okay. Ooh. A 19 and uh, what's the zero? That's zero, zero is 10. Zero is 10. Okay. Oh, that's a good roll. 19, that's a good roll. And, then, <laughs> and Kenzo, you rolled three. <gasps> well done, three. Candy. Standing on 19, I assume? Yeah. I'm sitting. Ah, very good. That is five, six. His accent is gone. Seven, uh, 11. Do all French people do that? 14. Oh my gosh. Oh. 23. 23. Candy, you did what? it again! What? Yes! Can, oh, I'm so excited because you just got us another win! Hot dog! And oh. I take the key and I start carving the table. Kenzo knocks his stack of cards that he's hit off. This is bullshit, Todd! Uh, yes, yes, sir. What, what is with this deck? I've lost two games in a row. Oh, uh, this this must be my deck, sir. This must be. I, I, a loser deck! A loser Get deck. Get it out of here. Get it out of yes, my sir. sight. Yes, and, sir. And Todd takes the deck and he starts eating the cards. Yes, yes. Feverishly. I'll take one of the, I'll have what he's having. Oh, <laughs> so he and Todd, so he put, um, there's a little tiny plate and he puts a card on the plate for Candy. And uh, well, ah, so, very well, yeah, it looks like Georgette and Candy bested you at your own game You've at Blackjack. You've beaten me on the race track. You've beaten me here at cards. Very well. Fair is fair. Let me tell you about this Barbie of yours. You see, I have a very important piece of information. Something that is relevant for perhaps your amateur investigation. Yes, you whenever pencils? you're ready. Yes, <gasps> make sure you're taking notes very carefully. Yes. Now, a while ago. Wow. <laughs> How do you spell Dun. that? Oh. Dun. 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 What? What's happening to Kenzo? I think he's having a sugar she seizure. It's Kenzo, we were still gonna let you come win this part the best it's for you. Wake up, Kenzo! Wait, he's probably just thinking. Let's oh, take a just beat. Thinking? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. Oh! He's dead. He's dead, and you see there's a goblet of wine that's the, his goblet of wine is spilled over, and it actually starts to just eat away the at table. the tablecloth. <gasps> the 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 material. This is not the wine that the dogs were drinking earlier. This is something oh, very goodness. different. And then you you kind of look over and you see the uh, 
the kitchen door is just swinging <gasps> in the breeze. Todd's dustpan and little broom are, are on the ground and he's nowhere to be seen <sighs> anymore. Georgette, that door swings both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as if somebody tipped them off. You hear an, an alarm start to, to pull up and an, and an ambulance pulls up with the paramedics in it. And they, and you know, two kind of beefy, like Ken-like guys come out and they say, "Ladies, we uh, we heard that someone uh, died here by an accidental uh, poisoning." I could have oh. a, a little death later if you're <laughs> not busy. Oh, okay, well, I don't uh, speak French. I apologize. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, so they they go over the paramedics and they check Kenzo's pulse and yeah, he's dead. Oh, and then they kind of oh, recognize no. him. They go, "Oh yeah, this is uh, that famous race car driver." Oh yeah, and then in that moment. One of the F1, just three of the F1 cars snap and then just crash through the table. The soul of Kenzo is in the soul of this building. Oh, it's a yeah. load bearing. Is the cheese table. okay? Yeah, you have it. Oh, yes, I got it. the cheese okay. bag. <laughs> the cheese is fine. So it's all coming it's down. It's back in my it's all sack. Coming, it's all, we got to get out of here. So you, you can we see. We got to get out of here. Th this place is pr precariously unstable. And you can see the paramedics, they are, they're starting to load uh, Kenzo up on a, on a gurney and covering him with a tarp. They're going to take. Yeah, they're tarp. putting him. Yeah, well, it's a blanket. They're going to take his body to the hospital. In a racing ambulance. They have brought out the <laughs> racing ambulance just for this occasion because they're going to get there. Even though he's dead, they're getting there real fast. <laughs> and uh, you can see as they're loading his body in there uh, and they're, they're starting to put him into the back of the vehicle, just in the, in the corner of his pocket, his coat pocket, there's a little bit of, a, of stationary like poking out. And it's the same stationery, Barbie's stationery that she brought you that letter in last episode, her official stationery. But before you know it, those ambulance doors are closed and the gunshot has fired <laughs> and the, the ambulance is taken <laughs> off for the hospital morgue, the Barbie General Hospital morgue. So ends it's our episode and the life of race, race car driver. Extraordinary. And his, and his opulent property. Yes, it <laughs> gets crumb. swallowed, into, gets the swallowed earth, yeah. into the racetrack, um, yeah. <laughs> and then the and then the surface of the track heals itself like it was never there. Oh, and then there's like a photo in the in the in the like the winter circle, and then it's just it's like Kenzo toasting, and a bunch of people are like, "Was he? He was a there ghost the whole time, the whole time." <laughs> wow. Yes, Kenzo was just in our dreams. Maybe we were the Kenzo in our hearts all along. I sleep dreamlessly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that is the end of our story for this week. Maybe we'll have to try to track down that rogue clue from Kenzo next time. Um, <laughs> but I have been uh, your doll maker, your storyteller, <laughs> Elise Willems. And uh, this is Lindsay Washburn as Georgia. Georgia. Charlotte Avery as Candy. And the incomparable Freddie Wong as Kenzo. Thanks, Freddie. Thanks for having me. Where can people find you and watch your stuff, listen to your stuff? Oh gosh, just Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google them. Thank you, Freddie, so much for coming and playing Thanks with us. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, next week on the show, we'll be tracking that down. For now, go subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Funhouse2 to watch the rest of the series. 